Hey, I'm Jess, and apparently I'm about one in eight billion because that's how many people live on our planet right now. And that's a staggering number. That's a number that's really hard to wrap your mind around, but thankfully Jackie McCann has made it a little bit easier with her book, If the World Were 100 People. So what she's done is the math and she's figured out how things would break down if we were only looking at 100 people instead of 8 billion. And so for instance, there'd be about 50 men and about 50 women, and about 26 of those people would be younger than 14. So she's gonna go through and she's gonna give you, along with great illustrations, some different facts. So for instance, um, 84 people have black hair, two people have red hair, uh, five people live in North America, 60 people live in Asia. And I think these numbers are numbers that are easier for me to get a grasp of. So five people versus 60, wow, does that show me how many more people live in Asia? That makes it easier for me to understand and easier for kids to understand. This would be great for um, social studies classes. It would be great for um, like second or third grade all the way through sixth grade, I think. Although as an adult, I had a lot of fun flipping through and reading the facts. So you know, you might enjoy it too. Um, things like 20 people don't have a safe home. That's a lot. That's a lot of people when only 80 people out of 100 have a safe place to live. So I think it's a good way to kind of start talking about the discrepancies in what people have throughout the world. Um, I like this page, how people say hi and how many people say hi. So two people say konnichiwa. And I like that we have pronunciations for all these so you can figure out and try saying them. So I like all of the different facts she brings up. Um, I like the illustrations. I like that there are more details along with um, kind of the big number really easy to find. So for instance, 89 people have enough to eat, but 11 people don't have enough to eat. And that's a problem. So I like that she's kind of pointing out some of the situations we're facing. Um, and then as we get to the end, Oh, so for instance, 90 people have access to electricity and 10 people don't. Um, and as we get to the end, she kind of brings up where our population is headed and the challenges that we are going to face. So I think it's a really good way to have conversations. It's a good way to help kids make connections. And it's a good way just for you as a person to go, okay, that's where I fit in. That is what our world looks like. And isn't that something? So um, if the world were 100 people, Jackie McCann, illustrated by Erin Cushley. I love the illustrations too. I think they're very effective. This would be, I think, an awful lot of fun and very informative. Oh, I know there are other books like this out there, but this is from 2021. So the numbers are up to date. So if you have been using another one, consider updating.